Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. Instead of a project video this time, I'm going to more on multiple projects because I've been wanting to try bleaching wood. So after a fair amount of research on the internet, including the AAW site and some couple other resources, I've boiled it down to what I'm going to try today. To, for this purpose, I have uh, some uh, hydrogen peroxide, which is, uh, this is actually sold by a pool supply company, is 27% hydrogen peroxide. What you buy in the drugstore is about a third of that strength. Uh, just for safety's sake, I'm keeping some uh, vinegar, some household cleaning vinegar handy, which will neutralize the lye that we'll use next. Then I have purchased from uh, Amazon some uh, lye. It's from the uh, soap making section of Amazon uh, in crystalline form. Beyond that, I have a uh, brush, cheap brush, mixing container, measuring cup, and a storage container for the live. So, let's do it. So I'm going to uh, first measure a half a cup of water. And by the way, personal protection, I'm wearing goggles, gloves, and clothes that I don't value. And there's a hose handy in case I spill that I can wash it off with. So now the lye. One and a half teaspoons. I don't need much. I'm going to pour this into a old pill container for storage. It should last a long time as is because it doesn't be great. But I've labeled the container that it does contain lye and it is caustic and it is dangerous to use. But this has gotten warm just from the dissolving it. By the way, just another thing from your high school chemistry, when you're mixing acids or any chemicals together, you always add the, the crystals to water and not vice versa. Otherwise, it can spit and splatter at you. So now that we have it together, I'm going to use a quarter cup and a quarter cup of the hydrogen peroxide. You don't want to uh, mix up more than you're going to use. Now, my understanding is just brush it on. There's one application. I'll probably have to repeat it two or three times more. So, we'll see how these turn out. Let's wrap up this exercise in bleaching. It was an interesting exercise, but remember that bleach is, we're expecting the bleach to make a chemical reaction with the wood. And if you do not want that same chemical reaction to be acting on you, your skin, or something else that you like as is, protect it. For one example, the gloves that I wore only, well, they had rubber on the inside, but then fabric on the back. I felt it, and I had to wash my hands. Just remember that wear goggles, wear protective clothing. Be careful with this stuff and dispose of it properly. It can go down the sink because it's essentially drain cleaner, but just wash it out and be careful in the meantime. So, what the results of these are interesting. These two pieces are the same wood. They're both being pear. This one, however, was uh, not sanded. It was straight from the gouge, and it was, to start with, 
actually quite yellow orange from that. This one was sanded and was much lighter in color when it started with and it bleached out to almost a pure white. As did this one also pear, very nice white color. This one however with the same treatment, this is apricot and it did not lighten quite as much with the same treatment. Now maybe with more applications it would go lighter but I'm not so sure because it's, it variables. These are a different story. These are interesting. They were an exercise in uh, end grain discs and uh, while they, it's an interesting turnout, uh, the uh, bleach had quite an effect on them uh, in that it injected moisture to it. It injected more warping and more cracking to the process. The other lesson to be learned from these is that the, uh, the it seems that the effect of the bleach on the end grain was not as much as the effect of the bleach on side grain. So it was an interesting exercise. We'll talk about these on another video. So every week I make a new wood turning video. This one happened to be on bleaching which covers several projects but we'll see you next week with the next wood turning video.